Hello, it's Sarah. And today I'm going to share my tags that I made for the swap over at Art and Sassy. Um, it's called, I have a couple here, hold on. The Halloween Dress Up Prima Doll Tag. Um, create two tags with the Prima Dolls dressed in Halloween outfits. So, I did it. And it took me all day yesterday. I had a frustrating crafting day. Um, but I got them done. Um, I cut the, the tags themselves from file folders. So that's how I did that. They're about nine by three and three quarters, I think. Um, and I covered both sides with paper. This is the paper um, that I had in my haul. It's the Wicked... It's, I keep calling it die cuts with a view, but it's my mind's eye. Wicked, and then it has other words. I don't know what they say. Um, and I love these papers. Um, so, real quick though, I, I'm going to give tips about what the problems were that I found too. Um, let's just start with this one. This was the first one I did. Actually, this was the first one I did. Um... I saw a, a YouTube video by uh, Christy, um, Twins For Me Too. She had done a tag uh, very similar to this, well, um, a paper dolls tag, and it was monochromatic. I forget the paper line she'd used, but I was very kind of taken by it, because I don't usually think monochromatically. I just kind of throw things together, and I don't really have like a... A, a, way, a way that I do it. I just, you know, whatever I have in front of me. But I was kind of going with that theme. Um, it didn't turn out totally monochromatic, but I like the way it turned out. I think this paper pack just kind of lended itself toward that because there just weren't that many colors in it. So anyway, I got the idea to put this cape on her. And it just didn't go well. I had put pop dots on her and they're, because the tool is behind her, they don't stick. And then I had kind of, first I put a ribbon, like a piece of, a very thin piece of ribbon through the top of the tool and wanted to tie that around her neck and make like a collar and everything. And it just didn't work out. And then I ended up like trimming it, trimming it, trimming it. And there's still a piece like stuck behind her. Um, I put this gold chain on there to kind of make it look like a clasp. I don't know. I was going to go with it and then I put this <laughs> spider here because I made like a blob there was like a my glue gun made a big mark I don't know what what, what was going on but um, I like the tag so guess what I made it over and this time I and and again I didn't think it through completely either because this paper is from this little piece of paper here where's the where did I put it I think it's under here I had a uh, it's like a piece of vellum and I got the idea all right well let me just lay her down over this is like a vellum piece of paper so I just took her see this is my other I was fussy cut I did the whole thing and then it got like all black all over it which really messed me up and I had to do it again um, but I just took her and laid her down well the other one and just kind of drew it I used a, actually a, a, a gel pen and kind of drew a cape around her and just cut it out and I used that this time and then I just I put the pop dots all around the back of her so the whole thing is popped up instead of like she's popped up on top of the thing I don't know um, actually that might have worked out that might have looked cute too if I would have just glued this down and then popped her up it would have given the illusion of the cape kind of being flowing behind her um, <laughs> I don't know, but I, I like the way it turned out. Um, I wanted to tell one thing about this pumpkin, which I thought was cool. I had this pumpkin stamp. It's from the bin at Michael's. And, you know, it's black. So if you would have stamped it with black, he wouldn't have come out orange. And I don't have any orange embossing powder at the moment. I have orange glitter. But I didn't really want to glitter them. So anyway, I clear embossed on this nice print orange print it's like a plaid print almost and then I am I heat set it and then I took my black soot and went because you couldn't really see it it was clear embossed on the paper like to fussy cut it out 
So I took my black soot um, sponge applicator and rubbed it all around and all the black went into the nooks and crannies and stuff and I could totally see it to cut it out. I don't know, that was the first time I ever really tried that so I was really happy with that. And then I did outline the, um, the details with, um, I have this from Christy, Christy Tomlinson I think her name is, um, Scarlet Lime. Um, it's a nice pen for like doing on canvases and stuff. But anyway, I glossy accented her. I stickled everything, glossy accented her feet. This is from a uh, Graphic 45 um, Happy Hauntings. I cut that out and then I made like this gr spider web grass. I don't know, but it's cute. I like how it turned out. These are sequins and then on the back I'm going to put my information. But this is just, um, oh, I put this little uh, skull down here. I don't know if I'll keep that there. I wanted to put some type of a um, charm. So yeah, so that was, that. I remade the whole thing. So I was up, I mean they're very, they're pretty much identical, but I just didn't want it to be, look cheesy. So I redid it. Then this one is just like a little more simpler. See, she's actually dressed up for Halloween and she's just giving out Halloween candy. That's kind of how I, <laughs> she's decorated her house all up for Halloween and she's given the trick-or-treaters their candy and just wore her Halloween outfit. Um, Again, it's from the same paper line, the My, My Mind's Eye Wicked. And um, I used a couple stamp spider webs up here because it looked a little naked and put a little spider up there. And just this trick or treat banner, I embossed, I uh, stamped this and embossed, no, I uh, glossy accented it. And um, that's about it. And I just had this little Halloween trim. She turned out cute though. These stamps are so fun. I love fussy cutting. It's so fun. Well, I mean, I don't actually love fussy cutting, but like the way it looks when they're all dressed up and everything, it's so cool. All right. So that's one swap down. I do have to um, decorate the, or not decorate, but I want to put like maybe a little pocket on the back or something to put my information in. I'm going to sign and put the date. I'm going to start doing that. Sign in my name and putting the date on things too. Um, but I just wanted to get this video done. And... The next thing I have, I'm going to join a couple more swaps. I had a request actually just today to do a tutorial for um, Riley, this canvas I made. It's a 5 by I think this is a 5 by 7 um, And that's what this swap is. Over at Mom, Mini Album Scraps, no, this is a 6 by almost 8 Ooh, I don't know how you're going to do a 5 by 7 with these girls on it. It's going to be a tight fit. Anyway, um... A canvas swap over there with the prima doll stamp so I think I'm gonna do that and maybe I'll try to do a, another I don't remember exactly how I got this but um, it's I can get close enough um, so I, I'm gonna be doing that there's a Halloween mini swap over there um, with the paper bags the small Michaels black bags I'm gonna do that one and I can't wait to start on my Tim Holtz I'm waiting for a delivery Simon says stamp Deliveries come, they take a minute to get those. It bothers me because Ellen Hudson's comes much faster. Joanne's comes much faster, but they didn't have what I wanted. So this is going to be my Tim Holtz Itty Bitty Mini. So I got a lot to do, but it was, these were fun and I always love them. They just, they're just adorable. So um, that's it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching.